It is still a work in progress, but Dan Llewellyn Hall is a man on a mission to capture on canvas the faces of all the men who took part in one of the most famous air operations in RAF history, the Dambuster Raid of May 1943. The attack used experimental bouncing bombs released 60 feet above the ground to destroy dams in the Ruhr Valley with the aim of disrupting the German war effort. 53 airmen were killed during the raid, three were captured. The Dam Busters as a group is one of the most famous squadrons ever, uh, the most daring raid in, in the RAF. But uh, we don't know much about the individuals. So, so for me, this is very much about the human story, about investigating their, them as, 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 um, as characters and the, the precursors of what led them up to going into this raid. Well, Dan really does have quite a task ahead of him. There were 133 airmen who flew in the Dan Busters raid and he's painting a portrait of each of them. I'm trying to get away from this idea of this whole, this big number. That's the first thing, so to philosophically get my head around it, um, to make, to make it a lighter load. I'm working on average, I'd say, maybe, you know, two to three a day or something. I'm certainly working on, I re revisit them. Some you, you finish very, very rapidly, you know, uh, others, linger on for hours and hours and hours. Dan got the idea of the portrait project after meeting the only surviving British member of the squadron, Johnny Johnson. He's doing a special painting of the 96-year-old. The airmen of 617 Squadron were only together once as a group for the briefing before the Dambuster raid. The plan is to reunite them once more when their portraits are displayed for the operation's 75th anniversary. Kevin Ashford, ITV News.